When it comes to video games, we often don't consider that the characters of our favorite titles have alternate versions, or could be some part of many different alternate realities that exist within their universe. But that is the case with some, like Sonic the Hedgehog, who has a rich and diverse history in his comics, and in his TV shows, and much more actually. So today we're taking a look at some of his alternate versions. But rather than counting them down like we've done in the past, we're putting a bit of a spin on this list. It's the top 10 strongest Sonic the Hedgehog alternate versions. Let's get to it. And at number 10, Stealth the Hedgehog. Stealth appeared in a singular issue of Sonic the Hedgehog comics published by Archie Comics, specifically issue 149. Crafted as a parody of Marvel's Spider Man, Stealth is a mask wearing superhero alternate of Sonic from Mobius 17. While Stealth's abilities aren't really delved into all that much in the comic, we can presume he has all of the same abilities as the regular Sonic, except likely uses a fighting style that more so suits Peter Parker's. Neat. And at number 9, Metal Sonic. While this version of Sonic might not be from an alternate Earth, Metal Sonic is arguably the most canon alternate version of Sonic, being a replica crafted specifically after Sonic in order to defeat him. Or kill him, technically speaking. Metal Sonic is capable of paralleling Sonic's speed, but just falls short of catching him, since he's missing that pure Sonic gusto of the blue blurs. He's also a robot created by Dr. Robotnik, meaning whenever he's severely damaged, he technically can be repaired, and his consciousness can also live on. Not too shabby. And at 8, Zonic the Zone Cop. Zonic actually has a really neat purpose. He's a zone cop, which means he monitors all reality and maintains balance in all of the zones in the alternate Mobius realities. So Zonic comes from a place called the No Zone, a place in Archie Comics that is 90 degrees from everywhere. It is a perpendicular zone intersecting with all parallel zones, which often makes him appear sideways in the comics. Cute. So what does his job entail? Well, he's the hedgehog who allows people to appear in other zones when they're needed. Think of him as the Sonic comic equivalent of Heimdall from the MCU on Asgard. Aside from having the weight of a massive responsibility on his shoulders, like all other zone cops, he has a few nifty tools at his disposal. For starters, he has laser beams built into his uniform that fire from his wrist. He's also got something called a control collar, which is a metal ring that clips around his victim's neck and keeps any powers that they have inactive. Moving on to number 7, Sonark. Sonark is an alternate version of Sonic from the Sentai Zone, a reality that is molded after the Super Sentai and the Gacha Men, aka the Power Rangers and Super Power Ninjas. Sonark, along with having all of Sonic's regular abilities, is an armored ninja in this reality, and is part of the Chaos Ninja team. He and his team are actually summoned by Sonic in order to help Sonic with an alternate evil version of Sally Acorn named Salector. Needless to say, Sonark and the rest of the Chaos Ninja team's combined powers are not a threat to be taken lightly. Moving on to number 6, Scourge the Hedgehog, aka Anti Sonic. Scourge is also known as Anti Sonic, or actually more commonly, Evil Sonic. He first appeared in the spin off comics published by Archie Comics and is an alternate version who, in his Mobius, he's the ruler. Scourge has quite the history with Sonic. He's actually used Chaos Energy from the Chaos Emeralds at one point to become stronger than Sonic, a plan that actually failed when he was punched during the process of absorbing said energy. But despite it not fully working, the Chaos Energy did change him forever, physically that is, turning the color of his fur and quills permanently green. Perhaps one of the things that makes Scourge a little more deadlier than Sonic though is something that he himself noted in the comics. He suggests to Sonic that the difference between him and the Blue Blur is one bad day, which is a reference to a line from the Joker in the famous The Killing Joke DC comic book. Book, which was said to Batman. So Scourge is technically insane, and basically the Joker to Sonic's Batman is is what we're we're getting from that. And at five, Sonic the Hedgehog from the 2019 film. Despite looking like a twisted freak of nature, this Sonic has a unique ability that extends beyond what we've seen in the video games or the comics. He uses the rings he collects as a means of opening up a portal for teleportation, kind of like Doctor Strange's sling ring in the MCU, in which a portal is open and characters can pass through it to another location. Speaking of Marvel similarities, this Sonic also was depicted in this trailer as moving so fast that time itself stopped. That's a new level of speed for him. And the trailer featured a sequence that was basically the same conceptually as the Quicksilver Time Slows Down sequences featured in the Fox. Marvel X Men franchises. Just saying. And at four, Cyborg Sonic. Cyborg Sonic is actually a character that doesn't hail from the Archie comics or the video games like most of the others on our list. Instead, he's from the Sonic Boom animated television series. Cyborg Sonic is a cyborg clone of the Blue Blur, and he leads Team Cybonic. So, yeah, all these alternates have their own unique teams, a trend that you'll continue to notice more as we move on with our list. 
Anywho, how did this cyborg clone come to be? Bolt's an alien robot hero from Roboken, which is a city that exists in the clouds above the Earth, made him by using tech from Roboken combined with Sonic's DNA. Cyborg Sonic also wasn't created as an antagonist either. His purpose was to help Team Sonic defend Roboken from Hypnobot, a creation from Tails, which was made for a robot fighting tournament. It strayed, became sentient of sorts, and decided it wanted to eradicate all living things out of revenge for believing that Tails had betrayed it. Back to our Cyborg alternate though. Cyborg Sonic is almost identical to Sonic, and is made from a form of metal that behaves like flesh and fur, which allows his body and quills to have recesses and bolts along the lines of his framework, which is pretty neat. He's regarded as Sonic's equal, and when using his spin attack, he can completely obliterate obstacles or foes when in motion. He can also fly using thrusters built into his feet and fire lasers from his fingertips. And unlike regular robots, since his brain is made out of organic materials, he's resistant to malware signals. Moving on to number three, Sonic Zilla. Sonic Zilla is. You guessed it, a parody of Godzilla. From an alternate version of Mobius, this Sonic was transformed thanks to radiation from the Chaos Emeralds, becoming a gigantic monster, with the Chaos Emeralds embedded in his chest to boot, which meant he was capable of accessing the powerful gem's abilities. So when he's Sonic Zilla, he accidentally kills his own father and then transforms back to his regular self in grief. Regardless, though, he was able to take on a giant robot. Despite all of his strength, might, and power, Sonic Zilla doesn't have much control in his monster form as he does in his regular one. Moving on to number two, Sonic EXE. Sonic EXE is an evil version of Sonic, who was spawned from the Sonic EXE creepypasta and fan made game of the same name. The game is a corrupted version of the original 1991 Sonic Sega Genesis title, and in it, you play as Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik, who one by one Sonic stalks and murders. His speed is incredibly fast. He can teleport. He's proven to destroy Mobius and cause absolute terrors. Clearly, he's tapping into some demonic supernatural powers in order to torment his once friends and rivals. Makes him pretty strong. And finally, in at number one, Sonic, spelt S O N I. Okay. Imagine we just ended the list with like regular Sonic. The Archie comics sure love doing Sonic parodies of Marvel characters and plot lines. Sonic is yet another example of that. He's a character based on a Marvel character called Major Victory, aka Vance Astro, a psychokinetic superhero who was part of the Guardians of the Galaxy, the first iteration, and was an excellent astronaut and athlete to boot. Similar to the Guardians, Sonic has a team of his own called the Freedom Fighters of the Galaxy. He's a post apocalyptic version of the original Sonic who was sent to space and encountered aliens who gave him a special. Suit. He would then return to his Mobius a thousand years later and join the Freedom Fighters, defeating the robotic Brass Knuckles and the planet devourer Robolactus, which is obviously a parody of Marvel's Galactus. Needless to say, his cosmic powers are equivalent to that of Vance Astro's, which is why he tops our list. Alright, there we have it, friends. What other alternate versions of Sonic can you think of that are incredibly strong and powerful? Give us a shout in those comments below and share your thoughts. If you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more lists all about the blue blur. In the meantime, though, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.